Hi everyone, I wanted to go over how I'm doing the 3D engraves with the floral and um, basically how I decide to pick out the pieces there. This is a Creative Commons Zero licensed image, so all of basically all of the use permits on this are available. You don't have to worry about whether or not you can use it commercially or um, if it's personal use only. If you don't know what Creative Commons is, then I did make a post about this in the forums um, a little while ago, discussing licensing and the things that you can do with various licenses. So be sure to check that out. From this, I took a few different pieces. So you can see right here, I'll go back and show you that I pulled a few pieces out and I add, added some rosettes from another file to kind of clear it up. I tried the daffodils to start and they just didn't really work out for this style of engraving. So you can see right here, this is the actual file that I ended up with. And I'll tell you what's going on here. The fern and it's actually, I think it's palm, palm frond <laughs> and the leaves are going to be a single pass. And I've actually managed to clean this up. So instead of doing five passes where you had to um, keep going over the roses in order to get the same depth, this is now just a three pass file. So it actually lowered the overall time of the engrave quite a bit. So I'll zoom in on this rose here. You can see what I'm doing. Basically, I've got two overlapping pieces. So if you look, let me get a little bit closer here. You can see that there are sections that block into each other. And what this is going to do is that when you do with a standard engrave, this is going to make this section deeper because you have one pass of an engrave with the pink and then another pass with the red. And that's going to increase your actual like 3D feel of the flower. And with these, um, one of the things that I did that's a little bit different than the original file that I had is you've got so much more of these um, open areas within the rows. And what that's going to do is that it's not going to engrave at all on your acrylic. So your 3D effect is going to be even more pronounced because of those gaps that are within the petals. So what I did is I just basically put these into uh, the Glowforge UI. Red is my cut line. So you can see that's how I get the final earring at the end. Um, and I just did a standard engrave on, um, oops, on each of these layers. And it ended up giving me the 3D effect that I can show you in my other video that I'm not sure if I can link it to the YouTube thing, but I'll definitely put it in the post on the forums. So please feel free to ask any questions about this. I can do this with other types of uh, flowers too if you want to try different shapes just go ahead and either catch me on the glowforge user group or go ahead and leave a comment for me thanks so much bye